Hi, this is Zach from Doggysoft, and today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of all of our software. So this is a fully cloud-based uh, document management system and secure portal, and you can log in via a website. So you can go on Chrome, Firefox, whichever browser you're using on any device as well. Go to mydocusoft.com, put your login details in, and hit the submit button. That will then jump you into our main screen. From the main screen, you've got the main important bits are you've got your search to search for the documents you've saved in, tasks, which is like your paper tray on your desk. Um, so it's an electronic version of that. You can upload from here, so put documents into the system. And then you've got your portal for e-signature and approval and accreditors portal. Jumping out of here to start with though, I'm gonna show you how you can get documents from your computer into the system. So we'll start with Outlook. I've got an email come in about a case and I want to save the attachments that are on the email. If I click on an attachment, it takes you to the attachments tool. I can click the DocuSoft button. It'll ask me which attachment I want to file. I'm just gonna file this top one. Hit confirm. It takes you to a filing structure and you can choose where you want to file that. This would be your filing structure. And I'm gonna put this one under strategy and review. Then choose the case. If it hasn't pulled it through, uh, because it recognizes the email for James Hill against Hill Premier Accountants in our system. Uh, you can just type it in and it would find it on the system. Give it a file name, action someone in if you'd like to, give them an action by date, so that's a colleague of mine that I want to tell them to work on this document and give them a reason. Please check over. Hit the submit button and that files that attachment into the system. If I wanted to see, save the actual email correspondence itself, you've got, if I go back to the main screen, you've got a cloud button up here, and that's saving the actual email as an Outlook email in the system. Fill in the details, press the submit button, and the email and attachments go into the system. If I'm sending a new email, you would create the email as per usual, and then when you want to file, file this email when you send it, when I hit the send button, I'll get a pop-up asking me whether I want to file that. If I do, I fill in the details as before. If I don't, I can just press the X button here and get rid of it. Jumping to Windows file, so I want to file from my computer or from a folder on my computer. I can highlight one or more documents, right click on them, go to send to, and choose DocuSoft. You then get it pop up and you can file that document into our system by choosing the same things before. You've got your section, your client, hit the submit button down the bottom and in that goes. Also, Word and Excel, if you've created a new Word or Excel document, you've got the cloud button here. You click on that and you get the same filing screen as before. It pops up and you fill in the details, hit the submit button and that saves it into the system. Jumping back into the system, we can have a look at how to search for documents now. So if I jump back to system and go into the search. From here, you've got a couple of ways of searching. You can search for one case and bring up every document from this box, or you can go to the search bit up here and do more of an advanced search where you know exactly what you're looking for. So I could put in here, I'm looking at Hill Premier Accountants under strategy and review with letter in the title in the, in the last six months, hit submit, and that will do all of that search bang straight away for you, 19 entries under Hill Premier Accountants. Also, you have OCR search, that's searching for words within documents, and it's just putting the word in, for instance, Brexit, hit search, and it'll find every document with Brexit in. Now I've jumped to a document that I call version control, which is where I can show you about the rest of uh, the search capability. So I'm on this one document that I've searched for, and along the top I can refile, rename the document, forward it, so create a task for a colleague, and uh, among other things, publish to the portal. You've also got this launch button. If I click on launch, this will take you into the document itself, and I can view the full, full audit trail of that document. I can add notes against the document for my colleagues. If it was an email with attachments, this is where the attachments would be. 
and then I've got versions. So every time I check a document out, which is up here, check it back in, it creates a new version of that document. So if I click check out to work on this document now, it takes you to a cloud version of our Word or Excel, where I can then make changes to this document. And then if I wanted to check it back in, I can hit check in and it will save it and check it back into the system, or I could save it and then carry on working on it later. If I hit the check in button, that will now show up on the audit that I've checked that document back in. And now we'll be able to see those changes that I've made on that document. And it will show on the audit trail that it was checked out by me. Document checked out and checked back in and today's date. Jumping back to the main screen, you've got task management as well. So this is when people have created tasks for me. You'd need to be checking this every day. It's a, it's like your paper tray on your desk. If I select one of these tasks that have come through, it gives me the document over this side, down the bottom, it's got the comment, please check over. So I can check this over. I can either forward or reply to a colleague, add a comment to change the comment down here, or I can action it because I didn't need to tell them I've done anything. All these actions and everything show up on the audit trail as well. So if I put complete in here, so I've completed the task, it'll show on the audit trail that I've completed the task and it disappears from my task tray. So that's the task I've covered very quickly. If we jump into the portal now, I've jumped into the portal on Mr. James Hill of Hill Premier. I can compose him a message. And then it's just filling it in a bit like an email, give it a subject, upload a document or take it from the DMS, add a message, hi James. Choose a section. You'll see now everything's ticked here. It's sending for approval because it's been ticked and I can give them an action by date if needed. If I want to add signing to this, I just right click on it, go to signing, go add signature information, digital signature box, I'm going to put over here and the printed name here, save layout, return. I'm going to go down to the bottom page, add signature information, digital signature and date. Say about allow, return, exit, signing is going to appear over here on this document now and I can send that over to them. Jumping to James Hill's emails, he would have received an email from me. He follows the link. I'll ask him to put his login details to log into the portal. We're taken to his inbox where he can view the message, view the document and sign it. So when we get to that next page. So now we're in his inbox, he can view the document. He can see where he needs to sign. You can click sign and approve and that will sign every place you've asked him to sign on that document. So if we view that document now, you'll see it's signed and printed on this first page and then on that last page, it's signed and dated. He can download this, print this, and it will be back on your side of uh, the portal as well and in the DMS all signed if you took it from the DMS in the first place. And that's my quick overview of DocuSoft. Thank you very much.